And right now we're going to switch gears and get your blood pumping with Body Break. Good morning and welcome to Body Break. This is Manuela Nemesh from Body Sculpture Fitness Center. Today I'm going to give you a few ideas of exercises you can do using a stability ball and um, a variety of weights. Let's say you're at home and you want to throw a quick workout or you're in the gym and it's really busy so you find a spot and you're just going to stay there with a stability ball, do a total body workout. So you can choose heavier weights for back and chest and lighter weights for shoulders, biceps and triceps. If you're ready, we're going to go on the pier and start the workout. So I'm going to work the upper body. I make sure my shoulder blades and neck is supported on the ball. I start with arm and forearm at 90 degrees. Inhale and exhale while you bring the dumbbells together. Abs are tight, hips are contracted, and thighs are parallel with the floor. And exhale on the way up. Now I'm doing hip lifts, squeezing the buttocks on the way up and exhaling. Once you master this, you can try to combine the two movements, which requires much more coordination. And I'm also adding a twist while I do the chest press so that the dumbbells are, basically the palms are facing each other. You can choose some lighter weights for this exercise because I'm working the smaller muscles of the biceps. And you can play with the angle, you can have your body straight and parallel with the floor or in a slight angle. Just make sure your elbows don't move. Now I'm doing a triceps, triceps overhead extension. For this one, really make sure you can control uh, the weight that you're choosing because uh, you're lowering the dumbbells uh, by your temples. So when in doubt, just use a very light weight and then um, you can adjust. Now I'm doing the lat, the pullover, which works the uh, upper back and the chest. You can choose a heavier weight for this exercise and exhale while you bring the weight over towards your chest. I'm doing a crunch. You can bring your lower back closer to the ball. And if you need to, keep your, your feet a little bit wider for support and more balance. And you can also add a twist to involve the oblique muscles. In general, it's, it's really nice to, to get a variation using the stability ball. And even train at home or stick to a corner in the gym if it's busy and do the whole routine, basically a total body workout. There's a little bit of wind, so I guess my five pounds uh, got blown away. Now I'm going to start in a sitting position and work the small muscles of the shoulders. I'm alternating with front and lateral raises. This is a little bit uh, more challenging than when you're standing because you're basically isolating more and you, you can't really bounce, you can move the the rest of the body. Now I'm doing full raises. Just make sure you lose a very, use a very light weight for this one. And if you have shoulder problems, don't do this exercise. Now I'm doing alternate shoulder presses. This could be also a warm-up exercise for the shoulder. And working the small shoulder uh, rear delts with a bent over fly, reverse fly. Again, a tricep overhead extension, one arm. Use a light weight to make sure you can lower the dumbbell all the way for a full extension. A big range of motion all the way up and down. Exhale while you lift. I'm going to work the biceps, one arms, one arm, it's isometrical 
So that arm also really, really works. You feel the bicep working just because of the gravity and you alternate. So you do a few repetitions on one arm while the other one is holding the weight and switch. Now I'm doing a bicep curl with a twist. Again, it's more challenging than doing it standing because you really isolate the bicep. And I'm doing bicep curl straight and slightly out in diagonal to challenge the muscle in a different way. Leaning forward, tricep kick back. The movement is from the elbow and I exhale when I extend the arm. So shoulder blade stays still. I choose a lighter weight. I do the same exercise, but my palms are facing up. So this is a little bit harder. Then I change the grip again and my palms are facing down. So there's a lot you can do on the stability ball. I hope you enjoyed the workout today. Thank you so much for joining me. And remember, exercising frequently helps you feel better, get stronger and look younger. Don't forget to log into my website www.manuelafit.com. I hope I'll see you next week and have a great day. Hey!